Gee, I was wondering what happened to the audio there for a second. Okay, we are back in Power World, as per we normally do. There was just an update dropped less than an hour ago. And I'm kind of um, interested to see the changes, because one of the fixes that they did with the update is they fixed the issue where the game would say one thing when it came to the catch rates, but it didn't actually correlate to that when you were catching pals. So for right now, I have a catching power of nine out of 10. That should mean I have a higher chance to catch different pals than say somebody of level one catching power, a much higher chance in fact. But apparently there was no correlation there in the game's code. So they fixed that error, which apparently no, not many people really knew about. So there was that. Um, but yeah, let's actually go ahead and get into the server then. I'm not too sure if anyone's going to be joining us in voice, but uh, who knows? This one. Perfect. Okay. So, what is the goal for today? Moon is actually online, so she might actually join us shortly. She's actually... might be AFK, actually. Is she? She's inside of our room. So, it's a good possibility that she is AFK. But my goal today is I want to finish exploring um, the northern frontier so to speak which it's not really a frontier but it's definitely at least a the northern part of the map you got the northern desert and you got the northern um, alpine region that's the area that i want to focus on today 
If we can do so, we're also going to try and get to level 42, because right now we're only about a quarter way to level 42. We may get there, we may not. Who knows? Plus, I am going to try and see if if uh, Sonara does pop on later, we might go after Axel again. Axel being the boss of the... Um, of the br uh, Brothers of the Pyre, the Eternal Pyre uh, Tower. Okay, so let's, oh, did not mean to, uh, to climb on that. Let's go ahead and move about. I've already uncovered a little bit of the northern areas. I kind of want to uh, start with the desert first because there's more to unlock with this desert because this area all over here is the desert biome. Whereas this is the area for the uh, Arctic biome. I've already been working out a few different mining locations inside of this area, just so that way I can go back there later on. Um, okay, let's head over to the PIDF tower entrance. In fact, before I do, I'm going to swap my gear over to the heat gear because there is no way I'm going over there in the cold cold winter gear that I have on right now. That'll be useful inside of cold weather, not right now when I'm going into hot weather. Okay, uh, nothing that I can see right away. I have no clue what level this boss is or what the recommended level is for this boss for that matter. Okay, so I'm just going to be doing a lot of exploring today, so I'm not going to necessarily be focusing too much on individual items or tasks. Because when I was on earlier with the group, apparently I had, uh, we went through and made some more uh, rifle ammo and we've made some more shotgun shells. So right now I have a single shot rifle that I have 70 five rounds for and I also have a double barrel shotgun and I also have Lily's spear which apparently does really good damage um, so something to keep in mind I suppose okay I need to head that way I'm gonna bring out Ragnarok because it's gonna be useful to a degree Okay, coal node right there, not necessarily useful. I did take a look at the ore maps, and I gotta say, I was a little bit disappointed with the distribution of the ore maps for this uh, game, because it seems as though it's just laid out in a grid pattern, which I don't like. I really do not like. Oh, is that a... Oh, that's just a, uh, oh, that's an effigy right there. I'm definitely going to go ahead and try and get that. Also, it's about to go into nighttime, so we may end up uh, needing to swap gear shortly. Just to be on the safe side. Go ahead and take this with us. Also, just as a little side note, I think that when they did the update this time around, they also adjusted the audio settings a little bit. Because I definitely do not recall my audio settings being this loud. Okay. Uh, what can we find inside of this chest? Eh, just some regular items, nothing spectacular. Okay. Let's head over to this one, and that should go and uncover all of this area. Never mind. That pretty much uncovers all of it. And we want to go ahead and come over into this area. So. I'm just going to be placing a few different markers over here so that way I know what I'm looking for. Just 
So I need to head west. Let's go ahead and westward. Ho! Okay, no. I can get copyrighted for that. <laughs> okay. Apparently a Nightwing just decided to fall down right as we're passing by it. Alrighty then. Also, just out of curiosity, what does this now look like? Because I have... Oh, there goes the permafrost of the night. 26 for the back bonus. Okay. I kind of want to see what Moon has, because I don't think that Moon's, uh, Moon's bonus is actually as high as mine. Okay. Maybe find a few of these chests. Okay, some hyperspheres. That's pretty good. Let's head over, follow the ledge a little bit, and head over to this one just south of us. Ooh, some rubber banding issue right there. Okay. That could just be the server not liking me having to uh, do sprints on uh, Ragnarok. So, that pin is fully uncovered. Same with that one, but I'm going to move it actually to about right there. So the one I want to go to is down over here. Just so that way I can uncover it a little bit. There is an effigy right there, so we'll definitely grab that. Okay. Now, let's head back this way. want to go and descend as well. Ascend all the way, not just like half mass. I don't need the Megasphere. I think that's fine. Dazzies, some uh, Robin Quill Terras. Oh, and some Grizzbolts. I wasn't expecting to see them around here. Okay. That. Interesting. You know what? I kind of want to capture a wild one. 29% with back bonus. Ooh. Let's just go and try and go after this one. And that was a bit of an overkill on Ragnarok. Okay. Can I go for attempt number two, maybe? Could try just go ahead and tossing an ultra sphere right away, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay, 75. Perfect, and caught a wild one. That's my second one that I've ever had. get caught yeah, that one gets caught neither of you got woken up there and that one gets killed okay and last one 
get caught. There we go. Okay. I think that was fine. Definitely caught. Uh, definitely um, killed them a bit. Pre uh, killed a few of them by mistake. But I think that's fine. The Dazis, though, those are going to be interesting to deal with. Um, I just kind of want to test here. These Dazis. They're pretty good. They don't have to take that much damage. Okay. Apparently we're hot right now, so it's gonna switch over. Oh, Ragnarok, you come about. caught I did take a little bit more damage than what I would have hoped for in that encounter but I think that's just from me being reckless which yeah I suppose is not a bad thing let's actually go and eat up real quick our pals are gonna eat up on their own so uh, can I No, I can't. Okay. Doesn't the medicine doesn't work on me. I forgot about that. Okay. Uh, I think that pretty much uncovers ooh, almost all of the deserts. So let's just go ahead and go about the place. I could go after a few of the robin quills. I do end up doing a lot of damage to them. So let's just see here. That did chip damage because they're all doing it at once. got me down that was not pretty not pretty whatsoever and apparently I caught that <laughs> okay uh, I'm just gonna go and respawn because I think that uh, moon got offline so I'm gonna have to go respawn and go retrieve my items not pretty but oh well Uh, I think that we have some backup gear inside that I can put on. We also did a few different uh, renovation based things, so I'll showcase those here shortly. Uh, undershirt and the metal armor. There we go. Decked out for going into the hot tundra wasteland hot desert wasteland sorry not tundra tundra is cold not desert okay um ragnahawk is fine i'm okay with bringing him along so let's get a move on okay so yeah apparently i did capture that robin quill and that was the second ever capture i had of it was not expecting that. So we just need to head south from here and then we should be A-OK. -okay.
We'll end up seeing the marker. Yep, there's one of the markers. So we should end up seeing the beacon here in just a second. Hello, Dinosaur. Uh, just some mount puzzles. Okay. There's the beacon. Kind of my own stupid fault for uh, not dodging as well. I need to make sure I stay away from that guy because I don't have weapons on me. level 42 so it's a little bit higher level than Ragnarok which I think is fine get your attention ooh that got rid of my shield quick And caught it. Nice. That's my first one catch of a Suzaku. Okay. That catches all that. Oh, level 45 Suzaku boss. Right over this ridge, actually. Do I want to chance it? Do I want to chance it? Possibly? Maybe? Where is it at? Armor is damaged. Oh, that piece. Uh, okay. And my own ar- Oh my god, my regular armor is damaged as well. Okay. Um. No, I don't want you out. I do want you out. Because we need to fly back. Uh, I need to go repair my armor. I didn't realize that my armor was that low in terms of durability. Then again, it was taking some good hits. So, I suppose that makes sense. Okay. I also need to consider, do I want to continue to use that crossbow? Or that uh, bow and arrow? Maybe not. They're not necessarily going to be the most useful. I suppose. Okay. Let's head back to base real quick. And we're going to go repair our gear, because we desperately need to. So repair that, repair that, that's fine. Oh, our shield, you're almost, oh, I need to repair that as well. Okay, well, I know I need to do some boss raids shortly. Okay, so... I can go and challenge a few of the bosses that we've already faced as well, because they're going to be relatively easy. Um, but let's actually go ahead and go after that Suzaku boss. I really want to catch it. Because I think that would just be a really good boss to go after. Um, it's kind of like right in the middle of all three of you. So let's start with going to the Dune Shelter, or Dunescape. Okay, so we got the double blur shotgun on us. Um, get everyone fed up real quick. I don't necessarily have a team that's good against a, fi uh, a water type right now. Or a fire type. So... Lunaris, you pass. I think you might have. Yeah, you have Acid Rain. Yeah, I can get you in. Yeah. 
Let's br we'll use Lunaris for that then. So we just need to head south by southeast from here. Not too sure if we're going to be able to kill it because it's level 45, but we can always attempt. I actually have no clue where this boss is actually at. It might be flying up in the sky, for all I know. Should be somewhere over here, right? Yeah, it should be somewhere around here. There it is. Ruler of the Crimson Dawn. Level 45. Reload real quick. So that way I have a full barrel. Okay. That I missed. I missed twice. What the fuck? Maybe I'm just too far away from it. Okay. Okay, you're almost dead, so I need to be careful. Ooh, that, that hurt my shield. Acid rain was a good call. Good thing that the power bomb is really like going all ham. Okay, Lunaris, come on back. Uh, Nubis, you come out now. Okay. Nubis, you're not really doing too hot right now. I might need to swap you out for... Swap you out for Ragnarok. I'm actually doing really good on this one. Okay, I, I'm, ha I'm fine with that. Granted, I only brought one pal that had a super effective move against it, but still. Ooh, I'm almost out. Need to swap over. Thirty-four damage right there. Okay. Thirty-three. Forty-four. Nice. 
That was actually a good bat flip on my part. Oh my god. I just need it to get down to about like 200 health. Ooh, okay, that hurt my shield. Chipping away at its health, which is fine. Oh, nicely done. Chip damage, but that's all I need for this boss battle. Get it down to about 50 health. There we go. Woo! Nope. You're staying in there. Okay. I got three more. Oh, stay into the goddamn ball. Stay. God damn it. Come on. I got a whole bunch of uh, regular balls just to go ahead and make you suffer not using this one not using that one actually I could and I'm dead okay <laughs> okay it was a good attempt I was got it down to 11 health there oh if I would have kept um Jormundide out maybe a little bit longer maybe that could have been a better solution Once when I respawn, mm -mm. that's, uh, let's see, um, I do have a few water types that I can use, such as in a level 36 Roman Tide. Um, it'll do more damage, so it might be my go-to for this battle. Maybe bring out Quivern, but Quivern's really low level. So I'd rather not do that. Definitely not bringing out Mamras. Mamras will go down real easily. 
Azrobe. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Let me see if there's any armor that I can get from the stockpile, because I know I did not put any of the spare armor that I had away. Not there. Heat resistant metal. Okay, that's fine. I don't need much more than that. We don't get into level 3, so I think that'll be fine. So let's go ahead and teleport back out there. First of all, go collect my stuff. And maybe if it's still there and has the same amount of health, it most likely despawned and respawned with new health. So most likely it doesn't. Also, real quick, yeah, I can't go and give you guys food right now, so my apologies, bud. Let me go ahead and we'll get you some food shortly. There we go, there's our beacon. Okay. Although quite fitting that uh, the level 45 Suzaku in this area is in the same area that uh, other Suzaku also spawn. So, I'd say that's pretty damn good. And it respawned with its full health. Okay. I think that my armor is okay. That's fine. I don't want the bow. I do want the sh a single shot rifle. Okay. Jomantide, you're going to come on out. Okay, I'm going to try this once again. Good thing that fire type attack is not really that beneficial on it. Okay, switching over to single shot. Ooh, that, that got rid of my shield. Good job, Jorman Tide. Attack on both fronts, so uh, that's good. That's a good one for the uh, Tri Lightning. Nice. Okay, it is stalling, so... Broke my shield, that's fine. Ooh, okay, got a little bit of chip damage right there. Right. 
I think we moved too far away from its regular spot. Okay. Azarob, you're up next. Move, keep moving. There we go. Yeah, slightly broke my shield, but that's fine. Lock on laser. Damn, fuck. Don't open the inventory yet. Quickly switch over. Okay, Suzaku, you are done. Okay. Okay, well, Whew. kind of my own fault for not bringing more powerful spheres to that battle, but we got our first boss kill, and that got us more ancient civilization parts, so I think I'm happy about that. I'm going to have to take our pals back to the base, though, because... There is no way I am going to be able to get them healed up until then. So let's head back.
Also, with the amount of health that I have right now... Oh, Lord. Speaking of, um, get the bread on the hot bar, just so that way myself and my pals can actually go and get food. I'm going to take you out. I'm going to dismount you and put you back in your pal sphere so that way you can heal up a little bit. Good. Okay, so it's now fully heal uh, fully fed as far as food is concerned. Oi, Kriamba. I got to wait for my health to regen before I go after another boss like that. That was... fun. <laughs> uh, I got a little bit aggravated about dying, but I kind of wanted to catch it, to be honest. So, Also, I don't know how Sonara and them got so much refined metal, but good on them because we needed it. And we got so much sulfur now as well. God damn. Let's actually go and queue up some stuff up, stop, up top. Mm, yeah. Because there is a lot of stuff that we need. Speaking of, we need to We need sleep. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, good! They're finally rested! I guess it's because I decided to sleep instead of just, like, put them in the pal box. That's good. That's really good. Okay, first of all, Ultra Spheres, which is the highest grade that we can make right now. That's gonna cost a lot. We can only make 11? We can make 48 because of the amount of carbon fibers that we have. I think I'm able to make some. Let me just double check. I uh, know Sonara would have to be the one to make them unless I have the tech points to get them. No, I do not. In fact, I think that we might have... No, no, no. You come back in your ball. I don't need you out right now. I think that we actually have some high-grade tech manuals that we've been stockpiling, apparently. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but let's take a look. Yeah, we got like 800 of them, which I felt was kind of way too many. But I'm going to take about 50 of them? 60. Why not? And let's just go ahead and keep doing this real quick. Oh, nope, not that. Um, no, keep that on. Yeah. I at least want to go ahead and make it so that way I unlock everything in the tree. So that's 10 points right there. Mounting the stand. Okay. Okay. Well, I got one. Mm. Okay. Just doing 10 at a time, just so that way I can unlock all of them, rather than just take more than I need. OK. 
Okay. Most likely I'm going to end up spent, uh, using all 60 books that I had. I'm also going to try and go dungeon delving as well because I think that would be pretty beneficial right as of right now. Oh my. I forgot how expensive all the later stuff is. <laughs> and one more go to street lamps why not and let's just go ahead and do this Take you, take you, uh, go and take carbon fibers, I need that anyway, I think that's fine. Uh, so how is it that we make carbon fibers? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. It just costs coal. Do we don't have enough coal? I guess it must have been used for smelting, so that makes sense. Uh, in that case, then, let's fast travel over to the Anubis Desert. Okay. I might actually take on this Quivern boss again, because it's pretty damn good to go ahead and farm. Just need to head over here. Let's go and land down here. that that's cool is that cool yes that's cool okay I'll have Anubis handle that for just a minute while I get my I already have my pickaxe equipped so this way and get the fire armor on Twilight Dunes. Actually, I could just do it where I do one vein and then he does another, or she does another.
Yeah. Nothing we need to be concerned with. Let's see. I can possibly get rid of the bow because I don't need that. Um, course ammo, I do not need that. Hold up. Apparently, I got a little bit lucky there. Yeah, uh, Anubis, take care of that guy, please. Take care of this guy, Anubis. You're just doing your charge. Never mind. I swear, I think I'm going to get rid of that charge on Anubis. Because this one, it just says, unleashes a powerful punch on impact, pretty much. Um, Anubis' special skill... Pursues its foe with a high-speed dash while releasing energy and unleashes a powerful punch. Eh. Like, from what we've seen so far, or at least from what I've seen so far with Anubis' uh, forceful charge, it's not really that great, to be honest. I do want to check, though. Um, on Paldea.net, what is the moveset for Anubis? At level 40, it gets Ground Smash. And at level 50, it gets Rock Lance. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to switch it out, uh, switch out Forceful Charge for Spinning Roundhouse because it doesn't make sense for me. It do just doesn't. Um, <clears throat> Ignis Breath, I think I'll keep it on there just for the time being because that way it can hit fend off against the grass types uh and i think spirit fire spirit flame is a good call to keep on there because spirit flame is going to be super effective against normal types so i suppose that's going to be good let's see i know i just fed both of those to myself which Meh. I have so many pal spheres right now. I need to go and get rid of some. Um, I can discard that. We don't really need medical supplies, so I don't really need to keep those. The leather, definitely, we do need. Um, do need to go and bring back the undershirt so I can't drop that uh, go ahead and drop not ten but five pieces right 150 that would be about five pounds per I only need to drop about six no eight okay Yeah, because that will get me right over the threshold. Okay. 
Uh, let's go ahead and bring out Ragnarok. And time to fly back, bud. I also need to get some more um, ammo made for the shotgun shells. Because I only picked up 50 when we made some earlier. Oh, how lucky. I could have my pals take care of you, but I could be bothered less by it. Okay. Just come up here, and we are a solid. Uh, if I can actually get to the this real quick. Uh, head back to base, which is right over here. And let's see here. Drop off the coal, because I don't need that on me. Drop off anything else that I do not need on me either. Okay. I don't need the key or the feather on me. Um, I don't need two extra things of uh, heat resistant armor, so time to put that upstairs. Do it from, uh, go upstairs from here because it's gonna be quicker. I guess this one? No, this one. No, oh frick, is it this one? Yeah, but we're overfilled on heat armor. Uh, pelts. Got a lot of pelt armor. Um, okay. And then we do have a medicine cabinet, but I don't think that anybody has been using it. Yeah. Well, actually, it looks like they have been using it. Oh. Okay, and... I need to put the extra undershirt away because I do not need that on me. Uh, right here. The key, on the other hand, I think that we have them being stored downstairs. Ooh, a little bit of lag right there. Okay, I think that should be fine. I also am short on rifle ammo, surprisingly. Um, real quick. Can I improve Lunaris? Yes, I can. And I no longer can. Okay. Uh, I suppose that I can put you in here, because I don't need you. Same for you and you. Hello. Oh my lord. Who is that? It's Saber. Oh my goodness, you scared me. How you doing? Uh, they fixed some cheats and exploits, but I don't get what they fixed. So, the very first thing that I noticed that they fixed <laughs> was apparently, and I didn't even notice that this was a problem, was the whole fix where they, uh, the whole increased percentile for your catching power wasn't correlating correctly in the code. Oh. So, that's what the last so uh, one should, of the major it ones. should fix it? Yeah. <coughs> Keyword on should, because we both know that sometimes a quick fix may not be the easiest to fix, because they may have to revisit it again and again. And again. Who knows, though? I surely don't. I'm not a coder. <laughs> Fix an issue where the game would always crash and save data would be corrupted. 
when the total numbers of POW captured by the guild reaches reached approximately 7,000. Yeah, which I don't think that anyone has captured, or anyone collectively, I don't think that the entire guild has collected that many. Maybe about a quarter of that, but never, not even close to that much. Mm. At least that's what I'm estimating. Granted, I have no clue what everyone's catching patterns are like in the game. Also, just a few minutes ago, my brother decided to grace me with some uh, food from Domino's, apparently. Oh. He got home really late uh, tonight from work, so he went he went by Domino's, and uh, ah, he was gonna eat it by himself, but uh, but he kind of got a bit full too early. Ah. Yeah, he works as a supervisor for a security company, so and he had to stay late because one of his employees called out. Oh, yeah. I've experienced that a couple of times back when I was a supervisor at security, but not anymore. I don't do that shit. <laughs> Ooh, dark egg. I'll definitely take that. Also, the ADHD meme is definitely real right now. The ooh shiny ooh shiny ooh shiny. That one. Oh. Yeah. Also, with the amount of refined ingots that I saw earlier, was that because? Sonara or somebody went out and mined like a whole bunch of ore? Probably. Okay. Because I know that there was like close to 3,000 that I picked up from the furnace, so it was alone. I, of course, put it in the chest, because where else would I put it? I'm not going to keep it on me. <laughs> Holy crap, that's a crap ton of money. I have a Mao, and it's dispensing a lot of money. <laughs> nice. Stupid Toko Toko, you never learn. Oh, Toko bird? Yeah. It decided to try and attack me while I, w while I had Anubis out. And my Anubis has Spirit Flame, which is a dark type move. So. By the way, did I ever make you um, Lily Spear? I don't... No, you didn't. Um, okay. I'll be right back. Okay. Kind of curious, is the Anubis boss over here still? 
should be. Yep, there it is. Level 47. Ugh. I would really need to bring out um, Elkadir to go after that. Once when Elkadir actually has a high enough level. Yeah, why not? I think I already completed the catching bonus for it, so I'm not worried about the uh, Toko Tokos. Okay. Thank you again for the slight warning of getting out of the desert before the nightfall. I was hoping that I could go ahead and do that. I accidentally pressed the wrong button, though. All right, go ahead and take you back. One shot? Really? Here we go. Got myself a Swee, and now I need to catch myself a Swee Bub. These guys I know are going to be much more... Never mind. I thought that they would be much more durable. There's usually a sweeper uh, right next to these guys. Where are they? Maybe it's up. Mm, nope. Okay. That was a waste of time on my part then. caught another one of you guys lately but you guys are running away because you don't want to be fighting me there okay head back to base mm. uh, get you on and you <clears throat> okay Got two eggs to hatch. One. Ooh, not that one. Oh, this is the one that's finicky right now. Two. 
very comfortable. You're going to catch hatch quickly. Uh, let's see. Got a lot of gunpowder. So it's going to be useful. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, that should be fine. Yeah. Back at base. Let's see, that task is done. And y'all are waking up. Nice. Okay. Welcome back. The uh, Zerumi just needed some help with uh, getting a browser or getting a website to stop with the add on blocker pop up thing. Gotcha, okay. That can always yeah. be annoying. Yeah. <laughs> Told him to install a uh, Brave. <coughs> Which is a modding client, if I'm not mistaken, right? Um, it's a privacy-focused browser. Gotcha, okay. Um, yeah, they built it with privacy in mind. Gotcha, okay. And they have ad blocking built in. Nice. That's pretty Which good. probably why some of my friends recommend it. Got another mal, like I needed one of those. <clears throat> I got a mal that's constantly grazing for money. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I should go make you your weapon. The spear. Oh yeah. Because I had mine out and I was like, wait, I'm forgetting something. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Actually, I can't. I got to go get Why more. Civ I got to go get more parts. Oh, civilization parts? Yeah. I have some at the base. At the third base? It. Okay. Yeah. I have eight. Okay. Would that be enough? Oh, yeah. I only need to right. go ahead and have two more in the base. All right. Um, I'm dropping it. So we really... You can put it in just there one of the chests. Oh, yeah. Okay. Actually, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Makes it easier for me when I'm up here at the war at the third level and I'm not having to rush back rush down the stairs and come back. All right, <laughs> I put it in. Okay. <clears throat> I didn't realize that they had a bug for uh, the monk effigies. Yeah, I didn't realize that either. Yeah.
Well, I think that one of the other Anubises that we have around the base are somewhat coming about, uh, coming to and fro. Which, speaking of, do we have any of them up here? No, but Shorman Tide is being a bit weird. Like what, as in what weird? Like, Shorman Tide is just staying on the top of the building. Like, not coming downstairs at all. <coughs> there we go. Now we have two new business work. I see your two. So that should speed up things. Yeah. Yep. And nice job. I see your two. And I raise you a three. Damn it! Then it go to the uh, to the. Actually, uh, get those ultra spears working. Yeah, I just queued those uh, just a moment ago. Uh, let's see. Anubis. Oops. <laughs> Did you I'm put... talking about the mod. Yeah, the the boobies. <laughs> I know what mod you're talking about. Yep. A boobies. It's a good thing that I'm streaming right now and don't have that mod on. Hey, I was going to have a Protogen mod, but uh, I don't think it is, it's compatible now with, with the latest patch. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Since it's only dropped. Are you live streaming? Yeah, on Twitch. Oh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> You're being uh. ridiculous. Yes. Yes, I am. And you're proud of it. Yes. Complete degeneracy. Yes, you are a degenerate. <laughs> well, well, at least I'm proud of it. Don't forget <laughs> to, don't forget to pet your pals for doing a good right. job. <laughs> Come over here. Oh my God. Did you need any spheres? Uh, oh, wait. <clears throat> I think that's probably about it for now. Okay. doing on cement not a lot wait is that what I thought it was hold up what? I queued up some hyperspheres a hundred to be exact okay. but it took the materials but didn't actually queue them into the actual workbench Oh. I'm not too sure if that's a server side bug or a client side bug. Oh, I can only make 48. Yeah, but I was able to queue up 100 on this. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, that, that seems like a server side bug. I see you glitching. Really? Consistently. Like, like you're I, warping. Like, I'm. Teleporting between like one one location and another, like right now I'm yeah, currently stationary, and I'm at the middle of the uh, weapons bench. But I see you standing next to Anubis. What? Okay. Hold on. Let me let me show you. 
what I mean. Oh wait. It would probably work best if I just move it that way. Yeah. Yeah, Anubis. see you're you're standing right next to Anubis. You can recognize the clothing. Oh my lord. <coughs> Why is it because on my side, I'm on the opposite side of that. Oh like, boy. Like, closer to where... It's like a uh, server side issue. Possibly. Or client side. I don't know. Let me go ahead and re-log then. Because... Okay. <coughs> that is not fun. I might actually restart the game just to be on the safe side. <laughs> oh, okay. That is bizarre that the server was zinging that I was in a different spot than what I was actually at. Because hmm. to me, the server showed that you were actually at that spot that you showed me. So. Yeah. Okay, now. Do I load in where I logged off, or do I load in where you saw me last? Good question. Okay, there we go. I, I see you were in a different spot. Okay. Go ahead and move around. Waiting for everything to load. <laughs> oh, okay. Yep, yeah, okay, I see you moving. Okay, that's perfect. <coughs> Switch back over. That is odd then. Okay. And what? Yeah, then the server was glitching out there because it allowed me to queue up a hundred hyperspheres on this, but it didn't actually put it on it. And I don't think that we would go ahead and forget that there would be hyperspheres on this. Okay. Either way, because it's yep. something to investigate later on. Hold no problem. On. <coughs> we really need to get more bones. More bones. Yes, bones. Bones, I say. The reason I say that is because for cement, it requires one bone for each. And we have enough for everything else. Although, considering that, how are we down to only 4,000 stone already? I have no idea. That's Unless... weird. Um, that's weird. Yeah, because on my stream it's saying that there's only 4,052 stone in the entire base. In this base, that is. That's so... Weird. It could be from, and I might want to tell Sonara that he has to stop doing this so so frequently, from all the um, fragments that have been get coming from the Crusher. Because I noticed that both fra both Crushers are constantly like outputting fragments. Like there's 520 here, and I think that this other one has 2,000. Yeah. I'm gonna have to let him know. So, depresso! Hey. Ray for Depresso! Depresso wins! Everything. That was really out of context on my part. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, we have some uh, stone that needs to be collected from the mining site as well, so I'll pick that up as I'm going to the container anyway. Yay for Spiri! Yay! <coughs> okay. Anytime today, game. Come on. Come on. Come on! There we go. That's much better. Oh, 
Oh, imagine we could edit the terrain. Oh god, yes, that would be so fantastic, especially like the base, set, uh, this base. Oh my god, we could do so much more if we had flat terrain all around our base. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Also, they still have not fixed that um, bug where you could put stuff in and it will refill the time. Maybe it's because not enough people are reporting it. I'm not too sure why. They have. I'm not too sure why they haven't fixed it. Because that definitely does seem like a bug that they would want to fix. Going like that's like a loophole that you can have in this game. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> But what if I don't want to report it? Then you don't have to. <laughs> but that doesn't mean uh, that nobody else will. Oh, damn. But it's got many uses. It refills the timer for food. <laughs> That's the only use of the bug, nothing else. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, I can make a um, metal roof and... Stuff. Oh yeah. I, I actually unlocked that earlier. Um, I think I unlocked that at like 35? Yeah. I just don't like the aesthetics of it. I like the stone stuff better. <laughs> wood. All classic wood. Yeah. But then again, in that respect, you would be putting your base at risk for it to be set ablaze. Yeah. yeah. Just saying. Can your ability actually set a blaze yeah if you do it with a uh, wood rather than stone or something better mm. that seems ridiculous under level 48 one of the structures that you can make is an electric pylon I don't know how big it is, but I imagine it's quite big, given the fact that it requires 100 ingots alone. Oh, jeepers. Um, yeah. Well, then again, we have like 5,000 right now in the base. So I'm going to mine and mine and mine and then make, make my house look like stone. <laughs> yes. And also, I can't wait until we get to level 47, because I am definitely going to be unlocking that weapon assembly line, too. Oh, yes. Because that's how that's the assembly line needed to make the rocket launcher. <laughs> Come here, chicken. Oh, yeah, I actually unlock some other PAL, ar uh, PAL gear stuff. Some of the stuff that I bet you pretty much nobody else has decided to unlock. <laughs> like, for example, the Pangolic rocket launcher. The Pangolic rocket launcher? Cheers. When you have Pangolic in your team, one of its abilities that you can use is to shoot it out of a rocket launcher. I've seen the TikToks about it, and it's fucking hysterical. But then it, but then it dies. <laughs> it fades. It doesn't it doesn't like completely die, but yeah. It yeah, fades. I know. You you were reading what I meant. Too. Yeah, I know what you meant. I, I I really just want to make it for the lols, just because. Imagine somebody making a mod that allows you to edit the terrain. Oh, that would be cool. Yes, yes it would. Let's see. 
I gotta figure that out. On level 14, what is supposed to be that unknown tech? I have no clue. That's supposed to be like the... It could be the Frost Tamu? I'm not sure. Let me double check, because I think I saw it on a guide when I was looking it up earlier. Uh, let's see. Oh, they actually updated that website. Perfect. The website that I've been what? using, they finally updated it to include the tech tree. What? Oh. I... What? Server? I, it crashed. Are you still running it on that new uh, web socket? I'm running it on a web socket tunnel. That's yeah. separate. Like, you're using my reverse proxy connection, but I'm using my web socket tunnel. Okay. Which requires me to have the server and the other person to have the client. And everyone has to have the client because it uses a session connection. Basically. Gotcha. Oh, that's what it is. Uh, Might it's have probably just... a memory leakage problem. True. And it's only been up for, what, 12 hours, I think? Not even? Probably. And it caused me to... Uh, what? I gotta rebuild the house thing again. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well... Get out of the way, batch! I'm going to go and mute up for a minute. All right. Okay. Um, even though we just ran into that issue with Pal World, we're going to go ahead and actually just call the stream there. I'm kind of like not in the mood for streaming the rest of, the, of tonight's stream. But um, we'll be back on Tuesday with more Pal World. And then, or not Tuesday, Thursday with more Pal World. Then we'll switch over to Baldur's Gate, finally, because I ended up uh, canceling stream on this past Saturday. We'll switch up to Baldur's Gate this upcoming Saturday on, on um, what day is Saturday? It's the 9th, right? Uh, no, it's the 10th. So on the 10th, we will be playing Baldur's Gate. And then on the 11th, we will switch back over to Pal World. Uh, with that said... Thank you guys so much for coming on out if you did, and you have a wonderful rest of your day. I know it's not the end screen, but that's, it's fine.